guys, my name is Joel Williams. I'm a personal injury attorney in Kennesaw, Georgia, and today I want to answer a question that I often get asked about do you have to pay taxes on any personal injury settlement? If this video is helpful to you, we appreciate you subscribing to our channel, liking the video, and sharing it with your friends. So the answer to this question depends on the specific circumstances surrounding your case. First, let's consider money you may receive under a personal injury settlement for physical injuries or physical sickness. As long as you did not take a deduction for medical bills related to that physical illness or sickness in previous years, the entire amount of money that you receive for personal injuries or physical sickness is non-taxable and you should not include it on your personal income tax return for the year in which you received the money. However, the circumstances are different if you did take a deduction for medical bills paid in previous years that were related to your accident. If you did that and you received a tax benefit, then you do need to include it on your personal income tax returns for the year in which you received the money and list it as income. Now what about mental suffering or emotional damages? If you receive compensation for mental suffering or pain and suffering, emotional damages, that kind of thing, related to personal physical injuries, then it's not taxable. However, if there's a situation where you receive a recovery for emotional distress or mental anguish that is not related to a personal physical injury, in other words, it's related to some other cause, um, and then you're compensated for it, you may have to pay taxes on that, and in that situation, you really need to take it to your accountant and get some professional advice from a tax attorney or an accountant to figure out exactly what amount you need to pay. But just remember, if it's for emotional distress or pain and suffering caused by personal physical injuries, it's not taxable. All right, so what about another area of damages, which would be lost wages or lost profits? If you're compensated for lost wages or lost profits, you will need to be paying taxes on that because you did not pay taxes on it in the year in which you lost that money. The year in which you received that compensation, you would need to include it as personal income uh, for that year. Now, here's the trick. If you settle a case, the parties can generally allocate that money to medical, bills or pain and suffering or personal physical injury as opposed to lost wages or lost profit. However, if you have to go to trial and the jury itemizes out the kinds of damages that it's awarding and it includes lost wages or lost profits, then that would be strong evidence that you are compensated for lost wages and lost profits and you would need to be paying taxes on that money for the year in which you receive it. So if you have a lawsuit for loss in value of property, property settlements for loss in value of property that are less than the adjusted basis of your property are not taxable and generally do not need to be included or reported on your tax return. However, if the property settlement exceeds the adjusted basis on the property, the excess is income and would need to be included. There are other types of damages that you can receive in a lawsuit, such as interest and punitive damages. Those things are taxable, and I would advise you to speak with your accountant or a tax attorney uh, in the situation that you receive compensation of those types of damages. But just remember, generally in personal physical injury lawsuits, the money is not going to be taxable, um, especially through a settlement where your attorney should be able to allocate the money in such a way that it's not taxable. It's a different story if you go to a jury trial where the jury allocates money for things such as lost wages, uh, if applicable, medical bills, and all that kind of stuff. But all in all, once you receive a personal injury settlement, I always advise you to take it to your accountant uh, or take it to a tax attorney and get some advice on what, if any, money you have to pay in taxes. But these are just general rules you may want to look at. If you look in the description to this video, there's a link to IRS publication 4345, which will give you some more detailed information on what you may or may not need to pay taxes on out of a personal injury settlement. If you or a loved one have been injured uh, due to the fault of someone else, whether it's a car wreck, a trip and fall, uh, negligent security, anything like that, feel free to give us a call here at Joel Williams Law at 404-389-1035 or check us out on the web at gatrialattorney.com. Call us, schedule a free consultation. We'll be happy to go over your case and let you know whether we can help you uh, with your particular claim.